hope you're well and welcome back and hello anyone that is new. My name is Ellis, I'm a mum of two boys over here in the UK and I share so much content on my channel from cleaning, interiors, to hauls, beauty and fashion, law of attraction, finances and budgeting and so much more. So if you like that kind of thing then I'd love to have you over here. Come on over and subscribe, click the subscribe button just down below and you can see all of my new content coming up over the upcoming weeks and months. But today I am sharing a bit of a haul. I went on a bit of a haul splurge recently and today I'm sharing a home bargains haul. Now I picked up quite a few new little bits, some good bits, some bad bits, some bits I'm quite impressed with. So I thought I would share them with you. So if you wanna see what to do in home bargains and what I picked up, then just continue to watch. Okay, so I'm gonna go straight in and I'm gonna start with like the first thing that I find. And the first thing that I find is the bit that I've just dragged out of the bathroom because I've already used it. Um, and it is this. It is the Nivea Miscellaire water. So it's not Miscellar or Micellar. It's Micellaire Air. Yeah. Skin Breathe Miscellar Rose Water with oil. So it removes waterproof makeup, deeply cleanses, and no greasy residue. Now, I normally always like, do a facial cleanse, but I'm using my. I've run, run out of the one that I was using, my actual face cleanser. So I'm using the Pixie Glow Mud Cleanser, I think it is, or something like that. But that's got either salicylic or hydrochloric, is, it, is it hydrochloric acid? I don't even know, I'm using that sort of stuff. And it's quite strong for my face, my face is quite sensitive, so I wanted something that I could take my makeup off with first, so I wasn't spending too long doing the deep cleaning with that. Um, and this is perfect, it's got the rose water with oil in it, it smells divine, um, it's brand new, really cheap, um, smells lovely, and obviously you just shake it up to mix like all the oil and that in. And I've been using this for about a week now. It does hurt my my eyes, I must admit, I'm not one of these people that actually likes using micellar, 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 I always get that wrong, micellar water, micellar water. Um, but out of all the ones that I've used, I've used the Garnet one and stuff like that, I really, really like this. This is a new one in, um, but yeah, I really liked it, 400 mil, so I definitely recommend. So the next thing I picked up was a new mop. Now, so many of you guys will know I'm an avid fan of the spray mop. I don't know, a lot of people have been giving them a bit of a tough time, to be honest with you, saying they don't clean properly, and when they go back to like an old school mop and bucket, it brings up so much more dirt. But I think because I have white tiles, I really have to scrub, and nothing kind of sits in them, they're not grained or anything like that, they're porcelain so nothing I think it kind of all sits on top and because they're white I really have to scrub to make them clean so even if I were to scrub them with my spray mop and then go over them with a wipe I don't actually bring up anything else however I have had three Aegis mops now my first one lasted me a couple of years my second one lasted me a couple of weeks and my third one has literally lasted me another few months and I don't know what's on with them you can return them and right off to Aegis I'm just getting the ump. I don't know what's going on, but it just keeps always getting blocked and there's nothing I can do to unblock it. So, I thought I would give this a go. So many people have been raving about this. It's the Flash Speed Mop. Fast, easy and hygienic. And it comes with six wet mopping cloths. And I believe you can buy like the refill packs. So the only thing I don't like about this is the fact that obviously you've got a cloth that you're throwing in the bin. It's not just water, but my other ones are getting blocked, so they're no good. And I believe this doesn't let off too much either. So it says it's got an ergonomic handle, strong and light aluminium pole, great for tight corners, under furniture, and behind bathroom fixtures. Um, gentle on laminate, tough on dirt, yada, yada, yada. I'm just trying to see if it says anything, because normally Procter & Gamble are quite good at offering some sort of, I don't know what they call it, but you know the re-recyclable thing. I can't remember what it's called. But it doesn't say anything about it, so I may be wrong, but these are in the lemon scent, so I'm going to give it a go, see if I like it. I'll leave it in the description box below what my final thoughts are on it, but I looked online and everywhere online was charging like £19, £20 for these, if not more, um, and I picked this up for £9.99 out of home bargains, so a bargain indeed. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know below what I think. So I also have some really random bits, so I'm not going to dwell too much on these, but a new whisk because mine broke. A couple of bath sponges because we need to clean our bodies. Then I also picked up the boys some Little Teeth Aquafresh toothpaste. I'm so excited. Now Parker's three, they can use the same toothpaste because they're between the ages of three to five, although then Clayton will be six and then they'll have to jump up again and he'll need a better toothpaste. But for the time being, I'm very thankful to have one toothpaste in my bathroom instead of two separate ones for both of them. And please excuse the weather as well. I'm realising that I'm going really, really pale and then in focus and stuff like that. The sun is just coming in and out of the clouds a ton. So I do apologise. 
So I also picked myself up a new toothbrush, um, a sensitive one because my teeth are very sensitive. Um, and then I'm going to go into some cleaning goodies that I picked up. I've tried some new bits. So first up, I picked up these. I saw, again, one of my friends mentioned these. These are antiviral handy wipes. They're really tiny little bags. So I did pick up more than three, but I actually left some in the basket and I'd already paid, stupidly. Um, but I figured these would be enough for the time being, just for my handbag, because at the moment I'm bringing out like big packs of anti bat wipes I've got from the shop, just to wipe over tables and hands and cars and things like that. But these are really little, and it says on there, they kill viruses, including the coronavirus, influenza, Zika, HIV, Hep B and C, and Ebola. So I'm definitely gonna pick up some more of these. I thought they would, these would be good for school when I'm out in my bag for the car whatever so these were like I don't know like 80 pence or something like that then I've wanted to try this for so so long now and I never have but I figured recently I have brought some harsher chemicals back into my home I was trying to go really eco-friendly I'm really natural but with everything that's going on right now I want this bloody virus dead out of my house nowhere near me nowhere near me the kids um, and if there's any chance I brought it in I want to know that when I'm cleaning I'm killing it and it's going so I bought the Dettol disinfectant liquid in the lavender and orange oil kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses and again what I've noticed is with so many products when you have a look they say kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria they don't mention the virus side of things and obviously coronavirus is a virus so I'm assuming if I'm right, and I mean I could be completely wrong when I'm saying this, but you need stuff that's killing a virus, not just killing bacteria. Um, but, smells bloody amazing. Doesn't smell of like a harsh cleaning product at all. And you can use this in drains, toilets, seats, handles, bins, bowls, bins, floors, work surfaces, dishcloths, everywhere. You just obviously dilute it how you need to. So I... I've wanted to try this for ages, um, I'm so glad I got my hands on it. Smells divine, so yeah, chuff with that. Then I also picked up this. Now, I didn't really need this, but I'm a massive, avid fan of Carpet uh, 1001, or use it all the time, but I have seen this and I thought I'd give it a go. This is the Fabulosa Clean and Fresh Smelling Carpets Foam Freshener. There's no need to vacuum, it eliminates odours, and it's in the watermelon scent. That is what got me, because I'm a massive fan of watermelon, absolutely love it. I say that, I hate the taste of it, and I was going to mention this on my Instagram stories, but I don't know about you, but there are so many scents that I love but hate the taste of. So I was saying to my friend Jess the other day that I love the smell of coconut, hate the taste, love the smell of watermelon, hate the taste, love the smell of cucumber, hate the taste. Um, I'm just really, really weird, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, I can already smell it. Oh. I mean, I probably shouldn't have smelled it that up close, but it says that it is quick drying foam, works into fabrics without leaving a mess. It does pet odours, tobacco and cooking. Um, and I just thought, well, why the hell not? It was really cheap and affordable as well. And I just loved that it was such a fresh scent for summer. Okay, nearly done with my cleaning goodies, but I had to mention this one. This one was a limited edition flash anti bat bathroom. It says kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Again, it's the bacteria that it mentions, not the viruses. But this was limited edition, it was for the bathroom. And it was the fact that I think that it killed the bacteria, I think. Um, and it was an actual anti bat as opposed to just a bleach type one, which I really like. So I'm imagining it's gonna work pretty similar. It's got a fresh scent to it, pretty similar to the flash one. This was a pound more though, so I'm intrigued to see how this works. So keep an eye on my upcoming YouTube cleaning videos because I'll probably mention something along those lines. And you'll probably no doubt see me using this and the mop and the Dettol and everything. <laughs> Okay, so I'm getting into some good last little bits now. So next up, I picked up a new car air freshener. This is the Wickford & Co in the Cotton Breeze. It's just an air freshener, but I really, really love this scent. And these last really well. They You get at least a few weeks out of them. Um, so I always like these, and they're really, really cheap. Then I picked up some new face cream. I picked up the Garnier. I'm using a Garnier one at the moment, but it's in a red packaging. I don't know what the difference is. Um, but this one's a day cream, Essentials Anti-Wrinkle in sheer butter, effective for wrinkles, supple skin, etc. and a new fragrance. To be honest, I just need a cream to go under my skin. This one smells really, really lovely actually. Oh, do you know what? It smells like shampoo. You know, like a really, really nice smelling shampoo. That's what that smells like. So yeah, I'll be using that. Really cheap and effective. I've got the Charlotte Tilbury in a little tester pot. The, is it the Magic Day Cream, Eye Cream? I don't know what it is. I've got that one as well, but um, it's really expensive, so <laughs> if 
for every day and that's when I'm going to bed and stuff just a little cheap one to keep my skin hydrated um just some cotton rounds for my micellar water Parker picked this up in store and I was meant to give it to him it's a little car thing it was to keep him occupied around the shops and to hold it but here it is um then I also picked up this which I thought would be really good for the summer holidays for the boys um, I think it was like four ninety nine. It's a Trolls World tour. They did one on, or maybe it was the one on their own that was four ninety nine. Maybe this was nine ninety nine. I can't remember which way around it was. Um, but a Trolls World tour. It's got two little figurines that they can paint. Poppy and I never know what's the baddie called in the World tour one. Poppy and uh, I don't know. Anyways, that is that. It comes with paint pots and brushes and stuff like that. So I thought the boys would really love doing that. Now summer holidays is almost upon us. I thought on a rainy day we can sit inside and do that and they won't be ruining all their other paints and it won't be a big mess because it's the one that comes in the little pots. And, oh, Barb, that's it. Barb, Queen Barb, or King Barb, as my sons call her. Don't know. Then I also picked up this lint remover. I'm hoping it works. I've seen loads of them on Amazon, but they all look pretty expensive. This was a couple of quid. Um, I've just found the receipt at the bottom of the bag. Um, but this is really cheap. I'm hoping it works. The cat has frayed my sofa to pieces. We are gonna be getting a new sofa at some point, but still, I kind of wanna try and hopefully get rid of all of those extra bits. I'm hoping it does say from lint, from garments, but I'm hoping loose frays is the same as lint. Who knows, but yeah, pick that up. Pick this book up for Clayton, which I'm super chuffed with. It's my first shoe book or lace up shoe book. It's basically, it teaches them how to tie their laces. It was £2.49. And this bit is currently locked, so I can't open it. There was one that was open in store. It's like got a little thing on it. But yeah, basically teaches them to thread and tie their laces and how to do it. And all the instructions are inside as well. It's the same range as a lot of the other stuff. Yeah, Igloo Books, I think it is. You know, the white cling ones that you get in there and all that lot. Um, so I'm hoping that will work and be really effective. Then my boys love writing, doodling, colouring. And Clayton got one like this. I think I actually got it from Home Bargains. It was an Olaf one that I got him for Christmas. Um, so I've just picked up the boys a new one each. I don't know how well you can actually see that. But it is a um, Buzz Lightyear um, A5 spiral notebook. And I picked them up one each to stop the argument. And then just the last couple of bits I picked up, again, mainly for the boys. Um, I picked up this. It's the Dr. Dot Activity book. Monsters edition. This is for Clayton. This was like a really good way. Obviously, I want him to learn his numbers. And at the moment, he knows like his numbers. So if you say like 20, 21, 22, 23, he'll be fine. He gets to 29 and it's the 30, 40, 50, like after the nines that he gets stuck with. So I thought hopefully this will be a fun way for him to do his dot to dots on his numbers and go round because he knows them. Um, but just kind of reinforce that. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was quite a fun little book for him. And then just so Parker didn't feel so left out, I got him one. This one's got 100 stickers in it, just like a normal colouring book with stickers. So that one was really cheap, and so was the other one. So, yeah, that is everything I picked up in Home Bargains. There wasn't much in my... No, I'm lying. I have one more thing. I picked up this. This was for Parker. Um, Clayton's still at school, so again, to do it on a rainy day, maybe this week or next week whilst Clayton's at school. And it's like a dinosaur cushion type thing. And it's one of those like colour your own ones. Now, I don't know if any of you guys remember, but I remember when I was younger, I had a, it was like a colour in your own care bear type thing. And I loved it. I was absolutely obsessed. Um, so yeah, these come with markers and I just figured Parker would really, really love to do that. He loves carrying things around. He loves all things like this. Um, really, really cheap as well. But we've got other crafts. So actually like make your own pirate thing and treasure hunt. They do unicorns. They do so many different things in there. And they're always really affordable. So I picked that up for Parker to do one day whilst Clayton is at school. But that is everything. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this haul. If you have, then I would love you to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if there are any other places you'd like me to visit. A lot of my shops seem pretty empty at the moment. Home bargains, B&M, they don't seem to have a lot of their home bits in, their interiors and all the other goodies that I normally see. But I don't know whether that's because of obviously everything that's going on right now. Um, but as soon as I can, I'll be uploading some more hauls. I also have some other hauls coming up as well. So I've recently did an Ikea one, which you would have seen on my channel. And I also have an eBay clothing haul and a high street haul as well so if you like that kind of thing i would love for you to subscribe and i will see you all again in another video very shortly bye guys i'm thinking of you i'm thinking of you i'm thinking of you wondering if you're thinking about me too now it's too late now it's too late